Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Cecil here with a video here today. We have a brand new episode of your portfolio reviews or your reviews, your portfolio is getting reviewed by me. Your products getting reviewed. You guys get it. Regardless, if you guys did not know, on my Discord, discord.gg so I basically give you guys a really fun little opportunity to just kind of be on the, the YouTube page and like showcase your portfolios and me giving you guys some little critiques here and there and also hopefully helping some other people get inspiration for what their next product is going to look like, right? So uh, for the record, this video, for some reason, I want to record at like, you know, seven o'clock where the sun's just going down perfectly. So it looks like every clip I recorded like a different day. I promise you it's not. It's just the weird lighting and I... Okay, I made it worse when I put this light on right now because I didn't have this light on before. But I love you guys. Enjoy the video. I love you. Peace. All right, guys. So for the first part that we're reviewing here today, it's by Jaden Styles. It's called a wishful projection. Um, I got a little insight. He did say it was basically his first Blender project, which is a little bit of a flex, if I'm being completely honest. I don't know about like the first. That has to be a little bit of a smidge lie. There's no way, right? Can you just tell me right now? It's a lie, right? It's not your first project. It's like it's my first. It's my first. <laughs> <You're>, yeah, <laughs> you're fucking. <laughs> Um, so for the description, we have basically as a play on words, a wishful projection as a play on words. The environment was a big focus in the scene rather than acting or characters as to tell the story. Okay, let's give it a little watch. I already watched a little bit. All right, so let's see what's what's going on here. Whoa. Oh, that was clean. Hold on. Okay. Wait. No. No. Okay. I love the scene for one. I also am a big, big, big fan of like the black bar theme. It almost kind of, of course, draws you in more, gives it more of that cinematic feeling. I mean, the textures are super beautiful for one. And then we kind of have the projector or more of an old school TV kind of like protruding this city landscape or city, uh, cityscape, excuse me. It looks really good. If we look through, we got some project progression. Okay, so we have a little something, something here. Okay, so it looks like. You did a few little color grading here for one, and you added some rain. Dope. I mean, dude, this is actually so not okay. The the gloom or whatever that you put on our bloom, and not gloom, bloom. The bloom that you put on it just makes it feel super, super cinematic and really, really, really just like well put together. I think the 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 materials used, um, the again the color grading is honestly beautiful. And a little foreground. I don't know if that's a leaf or like a bag or. It's like a little, like a drone. Okay, okay. Okay. What would you hope that the people that are viewing this actual project will kind of like feel? Or like, what is it supposed to kind of say? Mm, I guess uh, it's always good to dream, you know? Uh, dream of the future. Uh, like, I guess a better future. Okay, because I was going to say, there is there is a very big contrast of like the actual kind of setting itself and the actual projector. It is very futuristic. Okay. Mm. Dude, I love that. That's actually a beautiful. Oh, that's so beautiful. Wait, <laughs> I didn't expect that to be so pretty. Um, <laughs> dude, you killed this. Appreciate it, bro. Jeez. Well, you are killing. How old are you, by the way? I am 16. <laughs> All right, guys, so up next, we have a Mad Lions LEC 2021 project by Love. And uh, I'm guessing this is sort of going to be like a cool League of Legends theme on a cool rebrand for the team. So uh, off the start, high energy, we got like a really good sort of like foundation of what we're going to be looking at very quickly here, right? We got a typography, our, like the logos and patterns. There's a very, very clean kind of idea to kind of get an idea of what we're going to be looking at. That makes sense? I think so. Uh, but let's go down for a second, a little inspiration tab thing. Now, if we move into the announcement graphics themselves, I mean, if I give a little quick scroll... Right, you got the nice little sort of typography, sort of like hierarchy, happy birthday, understand what I'm looking at there. Now, if we talk about this right here, though, if we're being honest, this goes kind of crazy. Um, I love the simple little, like, very small type choice that you made, of course, well, LEC, week, day three, a little bit of information in there. Then we also have, like, this really nice sort of, like, offset um, or, like, you know, background change color here with, like, nice little yellow with little crowns on them. Um, very, very nice as well. And it's all looking really, really nice. And also, for the record, I really do like how you kind of put this together. I feel like I'm not looking at the same things over and over and over again. I got announced of graphics, just three of them, all three different things as well. I can super appreciate that. And the MVPs, it's all this sort of like same, um, excuse me, different topics, but then, you know, also give me, you know, a very vast, I guess, majority or vast 
differences between them and not looking at the same things over and over and over again, which I can super appreciate, which makes the, uh, the portfolio feel a lot less kind of boring and, and, and a really nice, you know, upward slope projection. This was actually a phenomenal project. This is so, so clean. I love your color scheme. It's very, again, unique. It's very fun. I love your grouping, your typography. I love your type choices. I love your patterns. Um, I love how you kind of like, uh, you know, draw information to, of course, sharing the information, but also keeping the players themselves the focus, which is really, really important. So realistically, I think you killed this. This is super, super, super dope. Um, yeah, I mean, this is this is pretty much what I would, I would ask for, for sure. I love it. I genuinely, genuinely love it. Yeah, yeah, you're good. Yeah, so this project actually landed me a position within the organization, so V1 and Rocker. Whoa, that's actually amazing. Not, okay, now I'm actually really excited to get into it. For the record, though, is it a paint internship? Yes, sir. Let's go, my guy. Okay, <laughs> now I'm excited. All right, let's get into this thing. All right, guys, so next up, we have a version one creative direction by Bryce. Um, as you guys heard, this basically landed on a job, so I'm basically, I'm ready to see some fire. Uh, of course, right off the bat, kind of starts off with this really nice sort of like, you know, nice little motion graphic on the top right here. I can appreciate that. Um, color, okay, of course, the purple, white, and black. Typography choice, super, I love this font over here, drama. Okay, welcome, Penny. I like this a lot. I actually do like the, the immediate direction I kind of saw, of course, was this sort of like fun little, uh, how do you say, gradient little thing up here. I was really hoping that we're going to see this kind of like idea because I thought it was really dope. And the fact that I do see it right over here, I'm loving it already. I find I feel like that connection in the actual portfolio, you're not putting things randomly. This is actually about what the project is about as well. I'm a big fan of like this really like big, obvious grouping Gen G versus version one. Also, I would always recommend you to put like the, your team name on top because, you know, we don't, we don't give free promotions to the other teams out here. Animated socials. Let's peep this. Oh yeah. Okay. Very simple. This is, this is some stuff that if you're ever looking to do, how do you say, or elevate your graphics in any way, of course, animation and motion is like a really, really good factor for it, but you also don't need to do too much. You kind of see how he did this kind of zoomed it all in here, right? Almost like this nice, simple kind of fade in slide way that itself is perfect it's clean enough it's engaging it's motion it's going to draw your your audience's kind of like you know vision to to the actual project itself or to the post itself thoroughly impressed i i can see why you put a lot of energy into it again the motion assets i'm i'm guaranteeing you that's kind of what they kind of draw their eye to they're like oh this guy knows motion too and good design it's this really fun mix that can like definitely land you a job in this case for him an internship that can also land him a full-time job in the very near future which i do hope so yeah, I have no other words. This is super dope. We meshed really well, and then um, that's kind of where I got my foot in the door. Um, so, like, I'm really taking these next six months to kind of, like, be a sponge and just absorb everything that I can. Exactly. And that's the work as a team. and kind Best of get, thing you can do. You know, make sure you're, you know, you're not just designing. You want to make sure you're, of course, like, like you said, being a sponge, taking all the information, how they're navigating, how they're operating, what you know that can be fixed, because all the stuff that you are soaking in, you should then also give back and be like, hey, I noticed you guys don't really like do this or this, and I think this would help out in timing of this and this and that. If you're the person who's showing initiative when you're like in an internship, it'll just draw them and be like, this is what we need, not what we want, right? Because there's always like, we want this guy, we'll pick him up, but you always get that idea that, hey, this might not be what we need. So if you're someone who's all, you know, visually, saying like you know this you know you're soaking up in all in all this information in making make sure that you're also giving it back like you're soaking it up and you're you know putting it in this nice simple context that you can easily you know illustrate to the person that's in charge and be like hey i think this is what we want to fix or this is what we could fix because it would help out this and that that's what i would say for sure All right, guys, so next up is a YouTube thumbnail collection by Rishi. I just feel like this is like gonna be a super fun port to look at. Um, introduction, why are thumbnails important? YouTube being a visual format, your thumbnails play a crucial role in the potential viewers of your videos, of course, for sure. Um, of course, the first impression of your videos, viewers will look at the thumbnail before they even read the title or the video, 100%. And for a thumbnail to fulfill its function effectively, it must be engaging, attention grabbing, and a great storytelling. I love, love, love that, because. People just kind of think if the thumbnail looks pretty, it makes sense. That's not the case. Your thumbnail needs to also tell a story that people are also interested in. That also is 
you know, vibrant, bright, flashy enough that can also be kind of like taken out of context of like 30 other thumbnails that are on the same exact page. So W for that. Okay, wait, okay, so this is my first question. I got a quite So do you do thumbnails for Sidemen? These so are these... just some practice works which I do to improve my work. These are all practice. Okay, this is freaking phenomenal then, because for one, I'm like, these are like quality level, it's like kind of like viral level high tier thumbnails. I love your cutouts, I love your picture choices. Um, I love your sort of like, again, storytelling here, right? You kind of have like the, you know, look at what we're looking at. You know, you got three members in here, but also kind of showcasing, you know, how Hardys might be hitting it. Or even this one where it's like funny names, or excuse me, funny faces of these guys with like really weird faces, hot ones in the background. Very nice storytelling there. I love the vibrancy. I love like the sort of like, it just has things that you would want, right? The vibrancy, the red, the, the yellows, the blues, um, little simple little assets as well, like the question marks, that all looks really, really good. Wait, you have a process? Oh, I like that. My process. Okay, a little cut out here, a little action right here. I love that. This is a really fun little way to showcase like what might actually be a part of the thumbnail because I feel like not many people really understand how much manipulation work might go into thumbnail. So I really do love that. This is I like, I like your also use cases of different typography choices. I think a lot of people don't understand the importance of, of course, exploring typographies, uh, different typography, excuse me, and like really letting that sing between like not using the same exact two or three kind of like, you know, fonts because it kind of gets really repetitive and kind of boring. Uh, from just viewer standpoint, so Rishi, brother, I think this is super, super, super nice. Well, yeah, you killed it, man. All right, guys. So next up, and for the record, my, I, it's like I swear it's all recorded on the same day. This video, but the sun was going down, bro, and I kind of lost the sun. So now I got. It looks like I recorded like in different time zones, but we have Spyro with the Northern Coffee Co. It just seems like some kind of like coffee branding exploration. Sure. So let's give it a shot. Let's give it a little scroll. Again, big fan at all times. Always. I really, really do enjoy the animation part of a uh, portfolio where it just kind of just brings a little more, brings a little more pizzazz. Is that the word? Yep, sure. We have this little, the perfect cold brew coffee. Is this a, is this a play button? Nope. Okay. You don't, mm -mm, I cut that out. Yep, okay, so number one, little first section here, the taste not for everyone, um, little section over here. I love the labels, by the way. It's a very nice little clean label, right? You kind of got your cold brew name. Uh, I don't know what the, the, the eight's for, but I'm sure it means something to people who like really like coffee. Um, I don't actually drink coffee for the record, little TLDR. Um, right, I love this. I love the like the, like the sort of like, how do you say, grungy, very grit, very fun, and just kind of like very subtleness to it. It gives more of like a vintage, modern vibe, and I'm a big appreciation of that. Um, the font choice as well is really, really pretty. Okay, the branding as well, the packaging, very, very pretty. Okay, I love, again, the labels, it's not easy. It's easy to do this in a way, right? You might look at it and be like, this is dope, but to do it this well with that different many type or that many different type choices or type fonts, regardless, right? Type faces, there we go. Um, it looks really, really dope, right? The logo sings, the patterns are really pretty, the grayscale, black scale, it's very, very, how do you say, a strong branding color scheme. Looks really, really good. The mock-ups here, all clean, like that really cool vintage black and white theme. A little ending off section here with like a nice little simple kind of, kind of menu idea. This is extraordinary. I would be very, very pleased as a client for me if they were to brought this to me, be like, this is this is what my vision is for this project. I'd be like, this is a perfect idea of like getting a really full on grasp of like what's gonna be happening here. I would even love if you somehow got mock-ups that like you can actually see people in there. There's something about like people and connection and something like something like coffee, right? That if like you saw that mock-up, you'd be like, this is what, this is it, like, right? I feel like that's the only thing that's missing. It feels very graphic heavy, like right here, right? But I can't really, he's not really holding anything that says like Northern Coffee, but that, if that was the case, that'd be super dope. But this product is honestly really, really, really dope. So yeah, I think you killed this fire. This is super, super, super dope. All right, guys, so for the last product that we have a reviewing here today is a Lask Visual Identity. Um, I'm guessing, oh, your name is Ethan, your uh, alias is Lask, okay. So my identity, I'm Lask, I'm a designer focusing on 3D motion logo, I'm 16, okay. The presentation here, right off the bat, we got the logo, we have SKIS, what does that mean? Jeez, sorry, I was basically, the logo is basically based off my interest. Um, I love a little motion element here for one. I also, the color scheme right now already is super hot. Oh, this is like, it goes through the, 
the the oh i didn't even realize it went through i thought there was like two separate motions thing that's dope that's hot i like how you did that actually oh i see what you're saying skis as in like actual skis yeah. okay yeah. okay okay and then that's also if you see the motion design at the top it rotates to architecture and then on the side it's the skis kind of like facing each other if you get that it's like it's like a little bit of a stretch, but like- Oh, I see what you're like, trying to, I see it. Yeah. I see what you're trying to say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I feel it. I feel it. Um, Minion Pro Type. This is a really, really pretty typography choice, by the way. A little thing right here too. I like a little mock-up choice for sure right here. I like this one uh, a lot more, to be honest with you. It's a nice little full page mock-up. I love that. Uh, it's supposed to be like skis, like kind of touching each other from like the, the, the tip the, the, the tip of it. That's such a bad choice of words, but like that's- <laughs> Uh, but I feel it. I get that. I really, really do. Is you kind of put your own kind of twist in your passions and your own name itself and kind of made it a little simple little icon and, and symbol, right? Um, I can appreciate that for sure. I feel like a lot of these mock-ups are focused on the logo itself, which is sure, it's fine, it's dope, but if this is going to be a branding kit, I would love to see some sort of like use cases of branding, like just like normal, normal uses and not just like your logo being the focal point. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that so that's sense. like my only little thing though, but this is honestly super pretty. I love your logo. I love the choice. Your little motion elements are so perfect. It's, it's really clean. It's really elegant. You killed it. 16 years old. You're just, you're just cracked, I guess. All right, guys, that's the end of the video that we have here today. So hopefully you guys found some really fun inspiration for your projects and just like your portfolios overall and get some nice, unique, fun, just things. And hopefully you learned something kind of in some way and just had some fun. That's kind of like the whole premise. Um, But yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Of course, set some HQ out. Now we get to keep smiling, stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. I love you guys so very much. And uh, yeah, just thank you guys for watching. I love you. If you haven't subscribed yet, you guys do that. Also, leave a like on the video, join my Discord, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, all that good stuff, right? I love you. Peace.